Hey guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon, and this is going to be a full moon reading, um, just like the ones I was doing yesterday. So for this full moon reading, I'm going to be using the Witch's Tarot, as well as the um, Secret Language of Color cards, and um, I hope you had a beautiful full moon. I know that it was just an amazing energy, and um, I feel very energized today, so I hope those of you guys who did you know, go out and soak up some of that moon energy. Um, I hope that it, you know, re-energized you and is getting you ready and prepared for um, a week ahead. If you want to check out the weekly reading, I just posted it on my YouTube channel, so go ahead and check it out. It's the, um, <clears throat> I have a playlist where I have all of my oracle readings and all that, so check it out. So I'm just going to shuffle a couple times. Oh, there we go. And so the Oracle card is going to give you um, like kind of like an advice card. Um, and then one of the tarot cards that I'm going to pick is going to be your energy right now in the full moon. And then the other card is going to resemble um, what you should be focusing on this full moon cycle. So um, the full moon cycle is 15 days. And on the 15th day, we will be ex um, celebrating our new moon so just for the next two weeks this is what your focus should be okay so i'm going to pull to the top as your energy and the bottom for your focus okay so um the energy right now you have the universe, or it is actually like the world, um, in reverse. So your energy right now, um, the the universe in reverse. This might be kind of feeling. You might be feeling like maybe some odds are against you. Um, you might be um, feeling a little bit of difficulty with certain projects, difficulty with certain um, situations right now. You might have kind of had a string of, I don't want to say bad luck, but just bad energy. There might have been some trouble, um, some difficult people that you've encountered this last couple weeks. Um, the new moon cycle may have been a little bit difficult for you, a little bit challenging. So the world in reverse is just telling you that <laughs> you're kind of a little bit, maybe a little bit fed up, a little bit frustrated um, with where your path is going right now. But don't worry. Um, let's see what the focus card should be for you for this full moon. And you got the six of cups. So focus is, this is, to me, this is like taking in energy from above. I feel like this is one, to, intuitively speaking, this is getting a lot of um, sunlight, a lot of sunlight, a lot of spending time outside, um, spending time in nature. I gave the same message to another client um, because I feel just looking at you have this giant tree, you have these rays coming down, and the cups are being filled with light. To me, that's just energy, a lot of um, sunlight. So spending time in the sun. Um, and then I also want to say Six of Cups within the Rider Waite perspective is um, nostalgia. Um, I believe it's a nostalgia card. And I believe it's, you know, spending time with um, family members or people from the past coming in and spending time with them. So this next two weeks, there might be a specific and specific person in your life um, that you may feel you need to be spending a little bit more time and having um, you know, one-on-one -on -one time with this person. So definitely reach out, reach out to whomever it is. It could be a family member. It could be a friend or an old friend that you've maybe lost some contact with, but you've been meaning to get back in touch with. So definitely, I highly recommend doing that the next two weeks as a focus. Um, but also intuitively, I really feel like you need to spend more time outside, soak up some sun, some sun for at least maybe 10, 15 minutes, um, go on a walk, go for walks in general, just really spend some time outside, get, get yourself out. <laughs> and then we have your advice card here. You got the Emerald, calm your mind, body, and soul. So seriously, from seeing, seeing how you got the, your current energy is the universe in reverse. And I said, you're feeling a little bit maybe frustrated or fed up. The color card Emerald is just basically saying, calm yourself, calm your body, calm your soul. Doing meditation will help with that, calming your mind. 
um, and calming your body and soul, spending time in nature, spending time outside where um, you're with animals, you're with the plants, you're just, just outdoors. Um, you know, however that may be, go for a walk in the morning, go for a walk just at night when, when you're able to spend one-on-one -on -one time with yourself, um, and use it as a way of healing, as a way of relaxing. Um, and so that is your advice card there with the Emerald card. So again, I just, I hope that your full moon, um, cycle, the next two weeks are amazing. I hope that, you know, you're able to kind of flip this card over and, and give yourself a little bit more, um, you know, a little bit more credit for a lot of the things that you do, a lot of the hard work you put out there in your life. Give yourself more credit, but definitely tap into this person, whoever it is that might be coming back from the past or someone you've just been meaning to get back in touch with, tap in, get back in touch with them, call them up, text them, make some plans this next two weeks. Um, and definitely, you know, spend some time outdoors fulfilling yourself, um, you know, and do some meditation as well. So I hope you have a beautiful week and a beautiful um, full moon cycle. And I will hopefully see you again for the new moon. See you guys. Bye guys.